Subscribe. It's now or never, boys and girls. <laughs> Meet Jackie, a stunning woman whose age is a mystery, yet her beauty remains timeless. She works as a CCTV surveillance operator in a bustling city in Scotland. Jackie is already divorced from her ex-husband due to certain reasons. One day, when she returned from work, her ex-husband visited her and took her to a place. Upon arrival, they reminisced about their beautiful moments, ending up in a sexual encounter. That was a bit quick, sorry. The following days, Jackie was at work when she noticed a familiar man on the CCTV. He was with a woman, and she followed their movements. As they reached their destination, it turned out the man engaged in sexual activity with the woman. Jackie initially reported the incident to the police but decided against it, as the man wasn't committing any violence both the man and woman were consensually engaged in a sexual relationship. Now, she's increasingly curious about the man. After returning from work, Jackie checked something to ensure if the man he had just observed was someone she knew. Upon inspection, she found a piece of newspaper with a picture of a man who had committed a crime. Jackie, the next day, still curious about the guy, scoped out the area and stumbled upon a hotel. She asked her colleagues if the hotel had a holding cell, but unfortunately, it wasn't something the hotel offered. Jackie made a sneaky call to the police just to be safe. After her shift, she quietly snagged a few CCTV tapes, all in a bid to confirm if the guy she saw was indeed a crook. At Jackie's place, she flipped through each cassette that had been recorded, and upon careful observation, it turned out to be true the man was indeed a recently released convict. His name is Clyde. Jackie returned to work and caught sight of Clyde hanging out with his friend again. Curious about Clyde's activities, she decided to tail him through the CCTV. She spotted Clyde and his friend cruising in a van with a phone number plastered on it. Jackie managed to jot down the number before continuing to follow Clyde. Upon arriving at a place, Clyde ended up doing nothing but grabbing a discarded sofa with his friend. Unbeknownst to them, a criminal act was unfolding somewhere nearby. Jackie promptly reported the incident. Jackie is getting more interested in Clyde, she's even started following him directly. She attempted to tail Clyde discreetly and wound up at a cafe. Inside, Clyde was having a meal, and Jackie wanted to keep a closer eye on him. She also entered the cafe and ordered a cup of tea. Not long after, a cafe server approached Clyde, flirting with him. Under Jackie's watchful eye, she caught Clyde touching the cafe server's thigh. After the server left, Jackie and Clyde's eyes briefly met, but it didn't last long. At night, Jackie was working when she caught sight of Clyde and his friends carrying loads of drinks. Her curiosity peaked, prompting her to call a colleague and fib about feeling under the weather. After that, Jackie followed Clyde to his place. Once at the hotel, she spoke to the receptionist, claiming to be Clyde's friend. However, the receptionist turned Jackie down. So, she waited for an opportunity to get into the hotel. Jackie caught sight of someone walking out of that hotel. Without hesitation, she stealthily slipped inside. As she was about to step into the elevator, she bumped into Clyde's friend. They exchanged nods his name was Steve. Steve was there with his girlfriend, April. Steve asked Jackie about her purpose, and she admitted she was Clyde's friend, inviting him to the ongoing party where Clyde and his buddies were having a blast. When Jackie arrived at the party, she scoped out the scene before seeking Clyde's room. As she attempted to open the door, suddenly Steve appeared, causing Jackie to abandon her plan. Luckily, Steve assumed she was just looking for the restroom. Jackie returned to the party and noticed Clyde singing along with his friends. Soon their eyes met again, and Clyde seemed puzzled, asking Jackie if they had met before. 
Jackie replied affirmatively, mentioning they had crossed paths at a cafe. Clyde then invited Jackie to dance. While dancing, Clyde started touching Jackie's body, and soon after, Jackie swiftly ran away from Clyde and left the party. The next day, Jackie decided to return to the hotel where Clyde stayed. She then met Steve and invited him in. Not wanting to lose track of Clyde, she confessed that her visit was to apologize to him. They chatted, and Jackie took the chance to get to know Clyde better. After waiting for a while, Clyde didn't show up. Jackie decided to leave and left a bottle of drink as her apology. Unaware, when Jackie was about to board the bus, Steve had already stolen her wallet. Jackie was putting together a plan to get closer to Clyde. Checking herself out in the mirror, she started to doll up to catch Clyde's eye. While Jackie was at work, she spotted Clyde and Steve heading to a bar with April. She also noticed that her wallet had been swiped by Steve. Jackie caught up with them and before stepping in, snagged a stone. Once at the bar, Jackie spotted them having drinks. Suddenly, Clyde strolled over and they had a quick chat. Suddenly, Steve got into a brawl with one of the bar's patrons. Clyde stepped in to break up the fight and escorted Steve out of the bar. Jackie was taken aback and followed Clyde outside. After Steve and April left, Clyde tried to get Jackie to go back into the bar, but she refused. Clyde insisted, but Jackie remained adamant. Suddenly, Clyde picked up Jackie and took her to the hotel. Arriving at the hotel, Jackie saw Steve who was already asleep. She then waited for Clyde who was peeing. Jackie waits in Clyde's room, she sees a photo of a little girl. Then Clyde came, Jackie, who was curious about the photo, asked Clyde. The photo turns out to be of his daughter Clyde, but his daughter does not recognize him because they have been separated since his daughter was born. Clyde then launched his action, he slowly took off Jackie's shoes. He then massaged Jackie's feet, and it didn't take long before they had sexual intercourse. Do you want to fuck me? I want to do the first move, I'm sorry. I want to fuck you. After finishing, Jackie got up from the bed, wanting to leave. However, Clyde stopped her. Despite wanting to go home, Jackie was held back by Clyde. Feeling used by Jackie for mere intimacy, Clyde lashed out at her. Jackie then left Clyde's room, but what followed was quite unexpected. Instead of immediately leaving the hotel, she headed into the restroom. She then took the stone she had prepared. Jackie then hit her in the face with a rock, she also took the condom that Clyde had used when she made love and put Clyde's sperm in her own vagina. She then ran out of the hotel and called the police to report that she had been raped by Clyde. Curious about Jackie's actions? Watch the full movie. The film's title is in the description.